Hey, I'm Dr. Joe Feuerstein, and today a quick MD Minute just being presented at Infectious Disease Week, which is a large conference uh, going on in Atlanta, Georgia. It's from researchers at Case Western, and what they did is they looked at people who either had shingles or had the vaccination for shingles, that's herpes zoster, just to remind everybody, everybody over the age of 50 loses their immunity to zoster, which is chickenpox. We all had it when we were young. We lose the immunity. It's staying in our body. And after the age of 50, stressful events, etc., can cause it to suddenly pop up in a specific part of the skin tied to one of the nerve roots. And you can get this horrible thing called shingles. It can be your eye. It's very painful. And it's not good news. It's also terribly inflammatory. So the CDC regular uh, recommendations are to vaccinate over 50 everybody or under 50 if you're immunosuppressed, so you're more likely to get outbreaks of shingles. So in this study, they looked at 38,000 people, average age 69, two thirds were women, and they followed them for up to seven years. Um, half of them had a, an actual vaccine, yeah, half of them had shingles and half of them were controls. What's important is they were looking at what happened to them from a medical point of view just by getting vaccinated compared to someone who wasn't vaccinated for the shingles vaccine. And here's what they found, folks. If you got a shingles vaccine, your risk of dying, so nothing to do with shingles, just to do with reducing inflammation in your body and therefore uh, being healthier for you, your risk of dying was decreased if you had a vaccine by 44%. Your risk of having a major cardiovascular event was decreased by 22%. And your risk of um, having dementia, which is probably also an inflammation as well, chronic inflammation, was decreased by 16%. So my take on this is that the shingles vaccine is preventing you from having a shingles outbreak. And shingles causes chronic inflammation, but the shingles vaccine probably has an effect on chronic inflammation by itself, by keeping this bug, this virus at bay. And it may help with living longer, not having a heart attack and not having dementia. Dr. Joe Feuerstein with the MD Minute. Thanks for tuning in.